Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Uh, I got another great guest today, and happy new year um, to people in the area here. I'd love to see you guys again in Easton. Got to read the underwriters, and then we'll get right to the show. We got Tonline General Store in West Bridgewater, where UPS access is always available. We got MDI Auto Brokers in Whitman. They are the home of the fully certified used car. We got Smoke and Ashes Tobacco Company corporate offices in Abington and stores in Abington, Hanson, Hanover, Pembroke, Weymouth, and Whitman. We got Dancer's Dream in Whitman, where shopping is a dream come true. We got What's the Scoop in Randolph with eight flavors of hot ice cream. We got Champion Cuts Barbershop in Brockton. And we got Shovel Shop Spirits right here in Easton. I want to thank you guys very much, and now we will start the show. So again, good afternoon everyone, and welcome to Topic Time with Harrison Young. Uh, the shows just keep getting better and better, not that they weren't great all along, but the guests just keep flowing my way, and uh, they're always looking to get on Topic Time, more very incredibly talented people. And this gentleman here, this is Justin M. Tolliver. He's an actor, he just, uh, he actually reached out to me to be on Topic Time not too long ago, I'd say maybe a month and a half ago, and I'm so glad we finally got him in here today. Uh, his uh, girl, is she a wife? Are you your girlfriend, wife? Yes, wife. Okay, wife. She, okay. she was going to be here today. I guess she, could, you know, she couldn't make it in. She does acting too. We're going to talk all about that. We're going to look at a little trailer of a film he did called Redemption, and we're going to talk about his film company. It's called what? Say it. It's Soul Injection. Soul, Soul Injection's film company. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna and we're, and I want to and we're going to find out about your history in acting and filmmaking, and then also how you founded Soul Injection. So first of all, let's talk about you you specifically. Uh, you you grew up where? And what, how did you start, when did you start doing films or acting or whatever, anything that led you to what you're doing today? Yeah. Uh, I actually am from Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, that's right, Kenosha, I yeah. saw that. Yes. My uncle lived out there for years. He lived in Madison and he ran a travel oh, Madison, agency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, went to, he taught at the University of Madison, too. Yes, it's a, it's a nice place. How, far, how far from Milwaukee is Kenosha? I know that's where you're from. I remember from that. Milwaukee, it is about a 20-minute drive. Oh, that's not far. It's in the area, then. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, so all right, so you grew up in Wisconsin, and you started out in Wisconsin, and what were you, do what were you doing as a kid in, out there in, was in the Midwest? Uh, <clears throat> America's hot land, as they say. Yeah, yeah, it's cheese land for sure. Cheese land, right. <laughs> so is Vermont, too, yes. which isn't too far, right up this road from here, but all right, so tell me about that, and then we'll figure out how you matriculated to our area and got where you, got, got where you are at now. Yeah, yeah, I actually acted a lot in Chicago. This is where the big film company What's, on, what's in Chicago? L most of the film. Yeah. So that's really kind of where I started. Okay. So I, my home base was Kenosha, and then I traveled to Chicago a lot. Okay. Uh, but I did a lot of stuff. I did stand-in work for Empire. I did uh, quite a bit of independent work. Wow. Uh, independent films. Uh, so it was what kind of sparked me wanting more and more and more. And to what degree did you do it? As an actor or as a filmmaker or both? Just as an actor. Just as an actor, beginning. okay. Yes. And how old were you when you started, approximately? I dabbled in when I was in high school, okay. a little, but then I took, of course, reality and things happened in life. Okay. But then sure. about five or five to six years ago, I got back into it. Cause okay. I'm like, you know, I want to follow my passion, what sure. made me, you know, happy. So. Yep. Well, you don't look like you're that much out of high school. I'm guessing maybe 20 years at the most. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm 38. Right, so. yeah. yeah I, think I, I think I nailed that one. Ah. Okay, great. So, so, all right, so what led you to the north, to the great northeast from Kenosha, Wisconsin, and Chicago in that area? Um, actually, my wife. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, she's from here? She's, she's from, normally from here, originally I mean, from here. Being here, Rhode Island? Yeah, she's. Because uh, that's where you live now. Correct. Yeah. Lincoln, Rhode Island is where we're from. Yep, okay. And she was here and she got, uh, got pregnant. Okay. And she had a complication. Oh, so I moved here. Yep. 
So, and I've been here since. A okay. lot more film here, so it's nice. True. We yeah. go to New York and Boston. So. And you, okay, so you're, you're pretty much travel. You've done some, some, good, some intercontinental traveling for your, for your projects. Oh, yeah. A I lot would, of it. I what about the other way? What about the West Coast? You've been there? I have not yet. Okay. She has. She okay. actually has been to LA and Las Vegas and has done films and did a lot of acting over there for her. Okay, when we, when we originally scheduled this interview, she was going to do it, but because of the kids and stuff, she right. declined to do it. Now, so I want you to, I want you to kind of like talk about what she's done as well, because I know you work, to, you work with her, don't you, in a lot of things? Yes. Okay, yep. because we gotta, obviously we've got to mention that. Um, so, we're, we're, I mean, it sounds like, you've, you, like you said, you, like we said, you've been around the country. What, what pro, talk about some of the projects you've done, and then we're going to look at that trailer. Yeah, as of right now, her and I are working on two films. Okay. Uh, one's a SAG, and it is called The Ice. Okay. And we're keeping a lot of that under wraps right now. That's Because it's one of the bigger ones right. that we're doing. And yep. Repentance is too. But that one was more of a school project, but it was such a good story. School project? Focus. For what school? She is actually in the CCRI for, uh, commu uh, for communications. She's, what's that? Uh, Community College of Rhode Island. Oh, okay. Is that the one? That's not, that's not the same as NET. That's what Chris Esper graduated. Correct. No, that's not. Okay. That. But, but it's, uh, yeah. it's a nice school, though. It is very for, nice. For she likes it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And she goes to Warwick campus and sometimes Lincoln campus. But okay. uh, she uh, is focusing on that. Yeah. But I mean, we are uh, doing Repentance, and it was such a big school project, and the feedback we got from it was amazing. So oh. we made the project huge, okay. a lot more bigger, and yep. we had amazing actors a part of it. And uh, we're hoping to enter it in a lot of festivals is right. our goal. Yep. And right now we have like 10 major ones that we want to do. it. We have actually got feed from L.A. on some people that were interested in it. That's awesome. So, yeah, okay. All right, now, when you say you get, uh, where have you done festivals so far? And where, I mean, I, I still want to go over the projects that you've done leading up to this one. I mean, see, see if you, just try to just, just discuss as many as you can think of going back to when you started. My film? That sounds like 20 years worth of stuff, but, you know, off and on, given the time that you, you know, between the hiatuses or whatever that you took. Right. I did uh, Walk Through the Woods, which was a big one for me. Okay. Uh, that one got a lot of feedback also. It was, How long ago was that? That was probably about... Three years ago, I okay. did that one, and that one is still circling because I keep still. Well, was that was that for your company, or was that you acting in it? That was both? me just acting. In okay, it. And uh, you, okay. You remember who produced it? Who produced it? Yeah, his name was Trez. Okay, okay. So you, and that was yeah. It's pretty simple. <laughs> I understand. You were just Trez, T R E Z. Yep. Okay, and you were the, you were one of the stars of the film. Correct. Okay. Yes, I am. What did you do? And what did you play in the film? I have to, you know, you just I just want to get an idea what kind of act, what kind of roles you've gotten. Me, I that one was a little bit more of a low, like uh, I only had one line, but it was more of an action okay. sequence, and I do a lot of action ones. Lately. I actually think I saw that. You doing like you doing like martial arts in it, sort of. That would be repentance. Okay, that's the one you that's guys are going to be looking yeah. at. Okay. The walk through the woods is where I'm in a white T-shirt yeah. and I'm stabbed. Well, you stabbed. Yes. Yeah, so so basically, all right. So you see, so you see, you see a share of action and stuff. Yes. You know, okay, and that's fine. Um, all right, so that's basically the kind of act that you've been all the is that are those pretty much the kind of projects you've done all along? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to break away from it, but well, I mean, any kind of nothing comical thoughts. so far? Not yet. Okay. I wish I really do, but the the ice would be the the one that will focus more on my uh, more of my inner acting experience versus more of like the physical part. Okay. Uh, the ice is where uh, it was uh, my fiance Shella's idea to break out more of a character, okay. more in-depth character. So we created the ice. She wrote it. She actually. wrote it. Yeah, she That's wrote great. it. She writes most of our material. She's okay. an amazing writer. And she wanted to focus on that part of mine. Because all of my, everything I've done has been action or oh. I die in it. Yeah, you know, okay. like nothing too I know what deep. it's like. I've been killed off in a few films, too. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun, but you like you like a change every now and then. You you like to have you like to have a happy ending for yourself every now and then. Is you know. Yes. Ultimately, it gets it gets old after you. You know, I mean, you can only die so many times before people are going to say, "Well, we know he's going to get killed, so what's the point?" Pretty much. Yeah. Actually, it's it's the right concept. Unless they yeah, want you to get killed, like, but you're a nice guy. Right. Why do they want you to get killed? <laughs> exactly. Right. But in the film, I mean, it's different in the film. You're a bad. You usually play a bad guy, right? Most of it, yeah. yeah Actually, okay. I have to be you're, truthful. There's one that I didn't, but. That was my first one. Well, you want to talk a little about that one? 
Oh, uh, yeah, my first one actually was, it was a good experience, but it was more... Was this for, back in Wisconsin? It was in Chicago, Chicago but okay. same area, right. yeah. Um, but that one was actually for, um, it was called a 36-hour 30, film festival. Okay. So you had to like, you know, you get a word, a topic, then you have to do it within 36 hours, produce this film. Right. And it was my first ever. I had a few lines in it. And I actually just uh, got beaten up in that one. Oh. I didn't die. But I got beaten up, and ever since, it kind of stuck. So right. everything I get cast in, it's either I'm getting beat up, I'm getting shot, I'm getting stabbed, I'm, you know, okay. I want to actually not well, be like the that. Well, <laughs> the thing that you now own your own film company, and, they, and their cello writes a lot of your stuff, Correct. you can set, you can, you know, tell her, and what about you? How much writing do you do, I have done? I actually have any. not, I have not, I've, I'm doing a script, okay. but it's so big and in depth that I'm actually have taken a lot of time away from it. But she is actually really creative, and she can come up with something. So she's the really creative quick. one in the family. She's all extremely right. creative. So yes. all you have to do is beg her to write something. You know, where you don't where you don't suffer these fatalities. Correct. Or, or these yep. these these awful occurrences, and that's what. And that's, much. <laughs> I have a hunch if she really cares about you, she'll write something like that. And, uh, yeah. I, well, I, I couldn't resist that one. I'm sure she really cares about. Yes. It. But I'm. But I'm also. I also feel that she also knows what's good. What's going to make you know going to be successful for your career as well. Yeah. She so what kind of roles does she play in the films that she's been in with you? She's more of the protagonist. Okay. She's it. a good person. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, she has like a deeper. She looks like a bad person, and you know, no, like she, she plays that bad Not from the character. Pictures. I've seen her. I see what you mean. Like oh yeah, but, but like like a, Jane type, right? Yeah, yeah, yep, I got yep, you. Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's the kind of character she likes, like more of a rough, yeah. edged kind of one, yes. where you're like, Pro. is she good? Is she bad? But then in the end, she turns out good. Yeah. Kind of character. Okay. Yeah. But okay, but she's good. She's good at giving you, you know, uh, making her obscuring it, her personality enough so that it keeps you guessing. Oh yeah. All right. That's yep. good. Yes. That's an important. She's very in depth characters usually, and right. she's very good at portraying that. Okay. Um, now, what, what has she ever like? Have there ever, have there ever been any films where she comes to your aid at all? Not yet. Okay. Because that might be cool. Oh yeah, we actually are. Two, we have a couple others that we want to do, but we don't want to do where the norm is, where we start project after project but never finish any. So okay. we have these two. These are babies, and we're going to finish. Make sure these are 100% complete before. Oh, of course, to yeah, else. you got to, you got to, so, you know, one thing at a time. You got to take it one correct. step at a time. You, you can't overstep your, your boundaries, or you're, or you're going to end up falling. Yeah, I just it, made that up. It's you very true. It. But yeah. yeah, we will because no, I, our goal is to have both of them done by July. Is when all the most of the festivals start opening yeah, it's up a again. Thing. Right, right. So we have to make sure, that is our focus. Usually about July, June, okay. we want both of them done. Well, that's great. Okay, but if they're not done by then, I mean, sometimes I mean, these, are these supposed to be full-length features, or are these going to be these like are shorts? Shorts. These are okay. Shorts. We haven't done a full length yet. You haven't. Yeah. Not okay. yet. Uh, we might, but budget and time-wise, we kind of wanted to keep them shorter and then hit the festivals and see how we do. And but I take it so far, you've done very well at the festivals so to this point, right? Uh, as of right now, we have gotten, like I said, the interest. We haven't yeah. won yet because we just submitted, so we're waiting to hear back. Okay. And we just submitted the trailer. Okay, you just submitted uh, the one you the one Yeah, you the trailer doing. that we we're going to show. Okay, yep. let's, all right, so without further ado, why don't we take a little break and watch it. So here it is. The name is Redemption. Re uh, Redem yeah, Repentance. Repentance. Re sorry. Sorry, my bad. Repentance, and here it is. incredible that was amazing what yes. a what a what a film that what a film that's going to be yes yeah, sorry about my getting the eyes mixed up oh no it's okay it's perfectly fine i mean we just met today so. okay <laughs> exactly okay that's true that's usually the way it is with a guest but you want to talk a little about that 
Uh, yeah, it's a film that we put a lot of time into when it comes to, because uh, the script Don't want to give it too much away. Right. Well, okay. I'm definitely not going to do that because the ending is very surprising. Okay. That's uh, the way it should be. But the, basically what the storyline is, is something that her and I both came up with, okay. is that it's a guy that chose the wrong path his whole life. Okay. That's you, right? Yes. Okay. I play Nick. I play the lead character. Okay. And basically he chose a wrong path his whole life, and he thought... Being a hitman was it, and that's all he had. But then he was fed the wrong information, basically. Yeah. So, but what happens when you find out what you were led to believe is wrong? And he just had to change his thinking because he did not like how, what the outcome was in it. Okay. But, but so, I, I mean, that's, I, I can't wait to see it because my hunch is that the, is, this, this might actually be a good ending for you. But we don't need to know that right no, now. That's no. cool. That's cool. And I'm sure the people, that your fans are going to say the same thing when they see it. Oh, yeah. Even the actors were very, are very hype about the... the Speaking of the actors, let's, let's talk a little about the people that are in the film. Yeah. I, you know, I've interviewed, I, mean, I, I think I've probably interviewed people that you've worked with. Yeah. I mean, you would, you, and you could tell me who they are because I've interviewed so many people, it's hard to keep track. But once so, I hear the names, I'll say, oh, yeah, I know him or her. Yes, because... So, uh, the well, the two leads, the two other leads are uh, his name is Sean Burke, okay, and he Don't is from New Hampshire, right, and he's newer to it. Like we were one of his first couple roles, okay, and he is actually very, very talented. Mm -hmm. Yep. Despite the fact that this was like I think his second film, he said, okay, but he is a mixed martial arts teacher, so okay. he actually helped with a lot of the fight scenes. Of he course. was really good. And then we have Frank Purian, who is mainly. Uh, he does a lot of Renaissance fairs. Okay. And so two guys in great shape. Oh yeah, okay. these guys are. And you look great. like you're in good shape too. Thank you, I appreciate oh, yeah. it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then we have Carrie Keyball. Okay. I believe I so said far, her name. So far, I haven't interviewed any of these people. Right. And she is a theater actress. And okay. She was. She's amazing. She plays the the other end of the spectrum I in the you. movie. I don't want to give it too much no, away. No, I understand. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away, right. Uh, and then probably the, the big name we had attached to it is his name is Drew Cooper, and he was in... Wow. Uh, yeah, he was actually in two... I love the name, Drew Cooper. Yeah, he's a, he's Drupa, a massive sure. guy. Just that one. Yeah, he is yeah. a massive guy, right. and he was in yeah. a couple uh, good big-time movies. Yeah. I'm not sure if you wanted me to mention it, but it's up I'll to you. keep that off. I was I'm not sure if, I don't want to... You don't know if you're sure if he'd want you to mention yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, then don't mention it then. Okay, no yep. problem. So. Okay, speaking of big films, have you been in any, have you been an extra in any of the big ones or worked in any of the ones, you know, the major ones? Not here. I have, I've been trying to stay, I mean, I've been trying to stay away from the extra work because okay. I did a lot of that when I was in Chicago. Okay. And the long days. What'd you do in Chicago though? Would you, I mean, what films you went out there? Can, uh, you, can you remember? I mean, can you name them or? Yeah, I was an extra. Other than Stand In, I was also an extra with Empire. Okay. I did extra for uh, two other movie, uh, two other TV shows that were down there. And two I, TV shows? You yep, national two, TV shows? Yes. What were they? Uh, Chicago, I want to say it was the Chicago Fire. For Chicago Fire, that's yeah. a big one, right? Yep. Okay. And they're, they're bigger ones. Yeah. Uh, and then there was one that was short lived. And unfortunately, I can't remember. It That's was okay. like a short-lived yeah, one Chicago that didn't Fire last Yeah, but Chicago Fire was long. a big one. I've yeah. seen that. So, so I, yeah. Uh, but I, and then I was also on, uh, I forgot, Superman versus Batman. Okay. I was, the, I was an extra in that. There too. you go. Was that, what was that shot? That was shot in Chicago. Were, were we, oh, that was that also was shot in Chicago. Chicago okay. too. Sounds like there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I mean, people are, more, people are migrating to different areas around the country. I, I mean, like that guy, J.B. Valenti, I mean, you don't know, probably know who he is. He's a filmmaker. He moved to Atlanta. Apparently, he's getting a lot of work down there. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And so did so did Rick Chandler. He's right from he's right here in East. Yeah, I know who that right, is. Right, right. I, I had him on the yep, show a couple of years Rick, ago. Yeah. Um, and also, and like you say, Chicago, and and also right here in New England, especially the Boston area. The last several years, the last twenty years or so, it's been op great opportunities for you know for actors and extras and stuff. Correct. And like I have my two extra film roles and. I'm a star in Shutter Island, so I've got... Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, I worked directly with Scorsese in Shutter Island. Oh, awesome. I also got fired by Spielberg in Amistad. That was 21 years ago. Wow. Yeah, he was... That was a long while. Yeah, that was a while. Well, that was, yeah, I mean, I, it was my first film ever, and... Nice. And you know what? What I'm doing now totally makes up for that, obviously. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, when you, go, when you go about rounding up actors for your films, how do you audition them? How do you reach out to them? Uh, this one, we actually... 
uh, put a post in Facebook. Okay. And we got enough responses. On your own home pages or on like Hollywood East, one of the group yeah, pages? Yeah, groups. I did okay. it in pretty much every group. Right. Uh, that was around this area, of course. Okay. So, but uh, we put that out, and all the actors that we actually got res that uh, responded are the ones we actually picked. Okay. We didn't reach out to anyone. And so, and honestly, it was amazing. Oh, I, that's, that's great. For the responses that we got, yep. and the actors that we got a part of this, they were nothing but professional, amazing actors. Uh, uh, we couldn't have done it without them. That, that's, that's great. I mean, but do you hold auditions anywhere, or I mean, or just? Not this time. This okay. one, we just did it because we wanted to audition, and right. we were thinking about it, right. but then we, at first we just thought it was going to be a five minute video, but okay. then it was so good and these guys were so talented, Yeah, we are actually making it a lot longer now. Okay. We're making it about a 40 minute are you, When you talk about video, are you talking about a, it's like an audition opportunity, like, the pe people to audi like a video for people to audition for, is that what you mean? What do you mean video? Video means uh, the movie. Oh, yeah, the video, the film itself? Yeah. Oh, okay, I right. didn't know what you meant. Yep, okay. the film itself. Have you ever dabbled in anything else in entertainment? Have you done, ever done music? Ever done comedy? Ever done? Ever been in a music video? None of any of it. None of the, no, actually. Okay. The only thing, other thing I've done other than uh, film is I do commercials. And well, I, I talk also, about the commercials. Uh, I, You've been actually, in them, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Actually, talk. the whole family, me, yeah. uh, my uh, wife, and then my son, my newborn, one-year-old, okay. we're actually in uh, New York, yeah. and we did a commercial called Hempstead Ford. Oh, for, a Ford, for a commercial. For, for a Ford yep. dealership. Yeah, it was a commercial. Wow. And then we also have another, I also have another one. It was called, a P, it's a PSA. Okay. It's called I, I, know, tell, or I know and Tell. And it's in New Hampshire. It's about, uh, I'm, you know, like if a kid is have, being bullied or oh, anything. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's a good, so, obviously a great cause. If someone was bullied myself growing up, I can definitely uh, concur with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was amazing. Uh, and there was another great actor attached to that one, Paul Taft. For sure. Well, Paul Taft, I know who he is. Yep, I've never he was in it with me. Isn't too. he a British guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, having someone from across the pond, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So it was actually, other than that, other than those two things, I also did a, a theater when I was You've in, done theater, too. Yep, live I did. theater. Yep. Did you start with that before you did any films? Yeah. Oh, actually, okay. Actually, theater was like my big Break live into action the one. Yeah. yeah, and I was actually... It was, uh, it's nerve-wracking. Theater is, is very nerve-wracking because sure. yeah, it's cause live. You, one time. You, can't get, you can't get away with a full pop. If you screw nope. up once, it's it. No. Nope. You're going to live with it. Yeah, and the reason why I was cast in that is because I actually know how to take a hit. So, and no, like, I know mean, how to do stage You mean stage it, was a violent, it was violent, too, just yeah, like the films? Yeah, it was, actually. Woo. Are you, you the martial arts yourself? No, not in that one. It's just... No, I but I mean, do you do it for real in real life? Yeah. Oh, you do? Like this one, we actually had a... Stunt choreographer. Right, but you 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 have a you you have a degree in martial arts at all? Not a degree. I'd had a little training when I was younger. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. But okay. uh, on the repentance, we had uh, his name is Sal De Greco. He okay. was a part of it to help us. Cool. Uh, okay. So you so you I mean it's obvious. It sounds to me like you get plenty of action in your in your life with your movies and stuff. Yes, we've been very okay. busy. That, that's so so what is, now here we are. We just started 2019. What does the year look like for you? What do you got? What do you got on the horizon? You got those two films. As of right now, that's what we're focusing on. Right. That's yeah, 100%. And, for, and that's probably keep you busy all the summer, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. And other than also fielding other auditions, like right. we'll submit ourselves. Okay. But we also both have agents. Oh, actually, the you whole do. family Talk about has your agents. agents. Uh, mine is New England Model Group. In New Hampshire. Yep, yep. New Hampshire. I know. They're very good. Uh, and then my fiance and both of the children yep. are with WSM. Where are they? Uh, they are based on... I forgot what, new, uh, Shrewsbury? Oh, okay, I've never it? heard of them, but that's, yeah. that's awesome. But uh, WSM is there. And so, you already, so you already get your little kids into acting. That's great. Your oh, one, yeah. Your yep. one-year-old's already been in a commercial. Yep. He probably doesn't even know it yet. No, he does not. Wow. No, the other you're one. Already, you're already stashed, you've already stashed his money away for his college education. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, the other one is, uh, he's been in bigger commercials. How old's the other one? He's, he's seven. He's seven, okay, Xander. that's what I think you told me. What's he done? He actually has done, what, three or, f I can't remember if four is out yet, but okay. three for sure Hasbro commercials. Okay, and yeah. Hasbro's right in Rhode Island. Oh, yeah. So it's right, yeah. so they, yeah. Yes. Are they still in, I thought they went out of business. I wasn't sure. No. They're still, yeah, yes. I mean, I remember as a kid myself, I used to love Hasbro toys. Oh, yeah. It's but my parents, my mother would say this, she'd make this silly thing up, Hasbro was short for Hasbroken. 
<laughs> yeah, because you don't want you don't want to say that around the warehouse, yeah. but <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, some, but but it's impressive that they had such a, a following in this and they're a local company. And oh they, yeah, they, and you know they and so many of the commercials for the big toys are Hasbro, and I didn't even know that. We didn't even realize they're right out of Cumberland, right? Whatever part of Rhode Island they're in. Oh, uh, Cumberland. Yeah, yeah, I nailed yeah. it. I wasn't even sure. Yeah, wow. they're huge. Uh, most of the commercials that he auditions for is Hasbro. Okay. He's got a couple other ones, like Hibble Insurance and everything, but most uh, your, of Your seven-year-old did an insurance commercial? Yeah. Do, what, did he, what, what part did he play in it, pray tell? He, he played the son, so... Okay, you weren't in it, though. No, okay. unfortunately, no. We've tried that. It's hard for yeah, all yeah, of us yeah. to cast it's, it's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably weird. Yeah, but. it's hard for us all to get cast hmm. in one. Played this, I, hope, I hope nobody... I mean, sometimes com insurance commercials can be, can be quite overwhelming. You know, it can be violent, too. You know, like, like, well, like, what about the farmers? <laughs> we are farmers, and they show something drastic happening, like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, so, yeah, he said like he trees like falling it, on yeah. cars and things like that. You know what I mean? Right, right, yeah, right, right. Nothing like that, right? No, no, he said he liked it. It was, oh, I'm sure he liked it, but I just want, I yeah. just hope it was. Well, listen, we get under five minutes to go. Okay. I, I can't believe he made it, but that's usually oh, the topic time. So, okay. what I want you to do in the remaining time is to give a few shouts out to people because a lot of them are going to see the show. Okay. And then say, had a, hopefully, you had, say you had a great time on Topic Time, and then you'd recommend it to anybody. But, but more importantly, just talk to the people in your life, live, life, and including your, your fiance and your kids, because they're right, they're right out there, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. I guess I'll get to meet them when we're done. And just say, you know, I, you know, I uh, hope you hope you enjoy the show, and I, you know, and thank you for this and that. Thank you for supporting me. You know what to say. You go okay. ahead and then condense them, and then we'll wrap right. it up. Thank you for listening to uh, watching Topic Time. It was enjoyable. First time I ever did something like this, but it was amazing. Thank you, Harrison. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, catch me, my fiance, and both of my kids. And Why don't you name them, too, oh, in case they don't. Yeah. Well, a, that's a hard name to remember. It's a sweet name, but it's a hard name to remember because it's a little unique. Yes. So say your full name, and then say your kids' full names, and yeah. then, then, then we can go on to others. My wife is uh, Shella Morin. She's an actress, writer. There's three names in there. Shella Morin. What's, doesn't she have a D? Oh, that's just her, oh, her okay. Facebook name. So. Yeah, that's why we ask yep. these questions. Yep. Talk right. time. We'll so on. Shella Morin. Okay. Uh, her Facebook is different. But uh, then my, uh, our youngest son is Asher Peter Tolliver. What a cool name. Yes. We love that name. Asher, I love it. And then uh, the older son, which is, uh, he's seven. His name is Xander Costa. And we love the fact that everyone's supporting Did our... Did you say his name is Evan? Xander. Xander. Oh, Zan oh, say it again. Spell it. That's X-A-N-D-E-R. Xander. Got it. Yep. Like Xander Van Olka, the, the TV newscaster. Yeah, yeah. Great. Awesome. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, we appreciate all the support with uh, Repentance. And Soon the Ice. Hopefully everyone will love that one just as much. But we couldn't have done without you. And the amazing actors that were attached to it. Uh, Carrie, Sean. Uh, we even had... Phil Skippy Adams did the makeup. Oh, he's, yeah, on I gotta it. get him on the show. Yes, at some he point. was amazing with the art, uh, yeah. the makeup effects. So catch that out. Uh, Drew Cooper was amazing in it. Also, everyone did. Uh, we had a couple newbies in there who were amazing. Also, everyone. I mean, we love the fact that you like repentance and you are sharing our videos and supporting the fact that we are here to help also actors that need special stuff done that have a budget. Okay, well, not note, we're gonna wrap it up. You ready to jiggy with it yeah, again? All right, go. folks, thanks for watching another great episode of Topic Time, more to follow. See you next time.